Lucky Penny Shop, and may the 4th be with you, because don't forget, this series started on May 4th, and we're giving away a $40 Amazon gift card, and that contest drawing is coming up, so stay tuned, make sure you go to LuckyPennyShop.com and click on the contest banner. We're still deciding how exactly we're going to do the drawing, but this is for ages 6 to 12, and by the way, this will be my first Lego set that I actually get to build. It's X-Wing Starfighter and Yavin 4. And this is a Series 2. Uh, so we get the X-Wing Starfighter. We also get the pilot. And then the planet. Now there's a display stand that comes with this. And then the planet which you can hang. So I hang with that. Yeah, man. I'm cool. I'm cool with that. Let's get in here. Ooh, I don't have my knife. Hold on. Okay. So there it is. There is my planet and my instructions. So let's just take a quick gander at what's going on here. Okay. Uh huh. Build the figure. Well. That we can do in real time. So this looks like the stand and the figure. That's pretty neat. And then this is the fighter. Ooh, there's a head in there. So what's the rhyme or reason? My head is here and then the body's here? Hmm. Do they just do that to mix you all up? Hmm? Do they? There's all the pieces. You want to see that. Now, do some of you just start building without looking at the instructions, huh? You probably do. So there you go. Okay. Now, do you also, I don't know, I sometimes I'll match the colors and put all the blacks together, the whites together, so I know that's the pile I need to go to when I'm building. But we know his helmet... We have his arms, we have his head. So our pilot is done. Okay. So let's go on. Here's the steps. All right. I'll just keep going. Let me just do some sorting here. Got to give him his weapon. So it looks like a hinge plate. Where is it better? Is it better here? Do you want to see this or not? Can you see that there? So it looks like this with a hinge plate. One on each side. Times two. Okay. One times, one times. All right. And then on top of that is the oval plate. So it looks like that. Then a black. So it looks like that. Flip it over. Now it looks like another set of hinge plates. Then a white section. Looks like a vented section. Where's that at? It's not always crazy. You're like looking for the part that you need. That. Then it almost looks like this vented section. Let's just take a quick look. They don't show a color. But I don't see that in white. Oh, there it is. See? You just got to keep looking. So your piece is like this, and then you have this here, and then the single piece there. Okay. I have to say, it's going okay, right? So now they want this under here. Next step. Okay, 
Well, they sure making these steps simple. So that piece is off to the side. We need this in a double white. So the, the piece itself is this one up here we're going for, the final piece. And then a burgundy underneath it, a triple burgundy. So it looks like that. Okay. Let's keep going. Then this, and then a flat, a flat finished white on top. Okay. So now they show the clear glass here in peg one, and then a single round gray, like that. And then this connects to this. No, it doesn't. Let's just see. This way. You know, sometimes you make mistakes. But there you go. Now we're on page 10. Okay, so we need one white, one double tube. Hmm, where's that? Uh, here's the double tube, and one L, which is that. So they show you in this upper figure here, you're going to take this like this, and this one goes in here like this, okay? Oh, no, that's not how it goes, like that. They're trying to trick me out. They're trying to trick me out. And they want this on the back here like that, Okay. You ever put a whole set together and realize you missed a piece or you put something together wrong? Well, I have, okay. So this is four times, it says. So we'll get these four, and then the four round sleeves. And they look like they just all slide over. And they slide into here. Okay, looks like we're getting there. All right, so we need four times the gray. Did I do it? Did I do something wrong? There's silver. There's well, four times of these. One, two, three, four. One insert and four of the gray. Oh, okay. So now they want an insert. There's four of those. One, two, three, four. So it's going to be gray cap. Orange cap, four times. So when you build, I mean, do you zone out? Do you put music on? How do you all build your Lego sets? I kind of zone out. So even now, making the video, I zone out a little. One, I want to do it right. And two... Looks like those four go there. Okay, we're getting there. Now we're working on these parts. So we need two of these, and they show it standing up like that to make sure you know which direction you're going. And then two of these, two of these, and two of these. Oops. You don't want to stay up now, huh? Here, well, hold that up for me, would you there, Lego man? Thank you, pilot. Good enough. All right, so this, like this, like that, 
like that. And then like this. Two times, it says. So this is what we ended up twice. All right. Now they show you bringing this section back in, all right, and then connecting it one to the top, it looks like, like that, and then one to the bottom, like that. That's what I see, all right. One upside down, one right side up. Now we're going to build the other side. So we need these, this. Two more hinges and this. So now we're taking it this way. It's reversed now. That like that. Whoa. Don't freak out on me there, Lego guy. Okay, so now we have two going in this direction. If I'm getting something wrong here, you know, let me know, everybody. Okay, so one's going to go down. Oh, wrong side. One's going to go up. Like that. And one's going to go like that. So now we have that. Pretty cool. I like it. Do you like it? I do. Next step is some top Looks like the vents on the top. I know. You ever build them too and pieces just start falling off? You think you got them in there just right. Okay, there's the top. So it looks like that's done. Cool. So now it's the stand. So you take the Star Wars with this here, and then this holds it together. See, that's that step. Then a long one going across. Then they show it this way, and another small one here. Then another long one here, so you look like that. Then the stand on the end. Okay. There. Oh, so now we take our planet, and it looks like there's a, this piece goes on the bottom, that's good, it was looking a little funky in the background there, alright, so we put our figure here, and our ship, has that round plate on the bottom? Remember that? Can go here. And then it spins on display. These are my extra pieces. But this is the hanger that'll go on the top if you want to hang this, okay? The extra ones, let's just forget about them. Let's get our weapon in hand. Because he's out of the vehicle now. And let's show you that. Look at that. That's cool. All right, there you go. Let's just set the wing here and take a look at it. I'll let you study that for a little bit. Um, I think that's pretty cool. I like this set. Is there any other steps? No other steps. The last step was putting that top piece on for hanging the planet. So there you go. I might just leave that real time. Because I had fun. And let me just zoom in.
So there you go. But let me do this. I want to show you one more Lego set that it's an old build. It's been sitting on display for a long time. And I thought you might like to see it next to this one for a size comparison. All right, so let me get that set up. Okay, so how's that for comparison now? The one in the back, that's 1,015 pieces. That's uh, Lego set number 7964. It's a Republic frigate. It was 150 bucks originally retail. It's about 19 to 20 inches long. Now, that one's been on display, so, you know, some of the pieces might have moved around, so the build itself is not, you know, to the exact specs. I, I think there's a few things that maybe moved around when it got, uh, you know, moved on display or a piece fell off. You know how that happens when you display Legos. If someone touches it when they're not supposed to, or they get knocked over or something happens. Did you want to see that one up close a little bit more? Pretty neat, huh? Let me move this one out of the way. So, they say, like I said, two to three hours to build this. And, uh, like this one, this piece I think is wrong, or moved. I just move it around. There's the back. And then a lot of things do move on this. Weapon swivel. Front and back. See, this is ready to move around. So there you go. Size comparison, right? This giant set to the one we just built, I think they're both just as fun. Of course, this one's going to take a lot longer and cost a lot more money. And thanks for watching. Remember, this is all part of the May the 4th Be With You giveaway. Uh, you're not getting these sets, by the way. We're giving away a $40 Amazon gift card. So go to our website, click on the Yoda, get signed up, and be ready for the drawing because it's coming up. And thanks for watching. Later. This video is now over. If you want to see more videos in this series, check the description, search the channel, or click here. And always remember, if you see a lucky penny, pick it up.